I'm getting ready to go on a prayer walk and I want to invite you to come with me. I walk a lot. I have a dog, so I walk her a couple times a day. And even if I don't have a dog or if it's, if it's raining and Mandy doesn't want to walk, I still try to walk because I find prayer walking a really helpful spiritual discipline. It's one of my practices for being on the road. When you walk and pray, it, basically it's simply inviting God to accompany you on your walk that you might see things you wouldn't otherwise notice and that you might pray for your neighbors, your neighborhood, your community and invite God to be with you in your work of being a good neighbor. So one way to do a prayer walk is just to simply walk and pray. As you walk down the street and you think about your neighbors, you might pray for them by name in your head. <laughs> Um, you can pray out loud too. You don't have to be quiet. You could pray for your neighbors and if you know that there are things going on in their lives that um, they might want you to pray for, you can do that or you can just simply pray that God uh, would be with them, that God, they would know God's love and mercy and care. So this is Methodist Park just down the street from my house. And right now it's empty, but often there's just loads of people here. There's baseball games and there's an exercise class that meets here some uh, mornings during the week. There are people who bring their dogs here and play with them. Um, I've seen a coyote in the middle of Methodist Park. And so when I walk by Methodist Park, if there are people here, I'll just stand and, and think about them and, and sort of envision them in God's care and I just simply enjoy them enjoying the space and hold them in my own heart, trusting that God is holding them in God's heart. I'm at a playground near my house and there's a mom uh, here playing with a couple kids. I'm not putting them on camera oh, oops, purposefully, uh, but as I pass them, I might pray that just that that mom would have a good day, that the kids would have a good day, that they'd have fun together. When we walk, we often see work happening, road work, construction work, utility work, and so we pray for those doing work, that they might be safe, well compensated, and justly well treated. I'm walking by Windsor School, and so I pray for the students and the teachers and the administrators who will be starting soon and the parents, that this would be a good school year. There's no formula to a prayer walk. It's just walking and praying. You can give thanks for the beauty around you. You can pray for neighbors. You can just enjoy being outdoors and invite God to be with you. So walk and pray. Amen.